Hello and welcome to the Ring of Plus show. Growing up, many of us were often reminded about the importance of saving money. Your journey may have started from doing extra chores or just keeping a portion of your allowance. But as we get older and with increasing commitments, it may be challenging just to stay disciplined in growing our savings. Joining us on today's episode is someone you may have come across online and on TV. He's been singing since he was just nine years old and today, he's an actor, singer, and host. And he's still only 18. Welcome, Fikri, and thanks for being here. Hello, Bang. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm very happy to be here today. <laughs> so, Fikri, being a multi-talented celebrity, it's not always as glamorous as people think, right? Your income stream is not regular, and not keep track of a belanja bulanan pun susah. Boleh tak share sikit apa antara habits yang Fikri amalkan untuk always be on track with your savings and expenses? Assalamualaikum, everyone, and hello, Pang. Thank you very much uh, for having me today. Okay, for me, um, I like to keep uh, things simple. Uh, I'm very lucky sebab daripada muda lagi, eh, my parents selalu remind saya um, supaya disiplin menggunakan wang. Ah, so, eh, tapi kadang-kadang ada juga lah kan, uh, ter terbelanja lebih uh, budget sampai uh, tak cukup nak save bulan tu. So sekarang, I sentiasa set up budget setiap bulan. Memang kena ada. Uh, kalau tak confirm, akan uh, terbelanja lebih dan tak dapat nak menabung. Yes. So, um, tip saya uh, yang paling simple ialah saya gunakan 50-30-20 rules uh, bila tengah plan untuk budget bulanan. Uh, so, 50% is untuk keperluan, you know, macam bayar sewa rumah, you know, kereta, all the utilities. Um, the 30% pula ialah kehendak. Yes, takkanlah dalam dalam sebulan tu kita tak teringin nak, you know, makan kat luar, you know, bawa um, my mother pergi makan, selalu I selalu buat macam tu lah. And the 20% pula is strictly for uh, you know, simpanan and uh, investment. Yeah. Yep, betul tu. 50 30 20 rule ni memang senang nak ingat. And one thing I like is it's flexible. Boleh adapt ikut situasi masing-masing. Tapi yang penting mesti ada portions untuk savings and investment. Yang ni sangat penting kan as you said, kalau nak build savings habit kena lah konsisten. Yes, betul. Sometimes uh, saya pun uh, agak struggle juga ya yeah, untuk uh, savings my own uh, money sebab ada yalah terasa nak uh, spend on baju baru kan or nak pergi holiday so uh, pang saya nak tahu jugaklah kan untuk orang-orang muda yang baru je start kerja apa tips uh, yang boleh grow their savings i tak adalah muda sangat but for me i suka tengok my progress so, for example, if tahun depan, my goal is to go holiday in Bali and I budget 3,000 ringgit and I can set aside every month 300 ringgit just for this one. So, every month I like to see how close I am to reaching that goal. It sounds a bit simple lah kan, but it's actually very encouraging and keeps me motivated to keep saving, you know, keep going. And at the end of the day, I will get rewarded for reaching my goals. Yeah, yep. Uh, a lot of uh, financial apps uh, in the market yang uh, boleh uh, check progress sekarang tau. So I've been using this app BU by Bank Islam. So kita boleh check our own saving progress and there is one feature nama dia Nest uh, yang memang sangat membantu saya dalam savings for different goals. Yeah. Hmm, BU app by Bank Islam ni popular juga kan? Apa kata Fikri share macam mana app BU ni membantu Fikri save duit? Yes, of course. Okay, dalam app BU ni, okay, Nas feature ni kita boleh pilih sama ada kita nak buat goal mengikut uh, keinginan kita sendiri ataupun kita boleh pilih je uh, mana-mana option yang dah disediakan. Contohnya, kalau saya ada plan nak bawa mama saya uh, pergi holiday, katakanlah bawa pergi Bali, kan? senang sikit lah nak simpan duit dalam tu kan. Uh, so, kita boleh personalize goal and letaklah berapa jumlah yang kita nak simpan. And yang paling best sekali, Nas ni boleh automate your savings. Yes, nak masukkan duit setiap minggu boleh, nak masuk setiap bulan pun boleh. Ikutlah mana yang kita rasa selesa. And of course, kita dapat tengok progress kita sendiri. Like you said, lagi rasa motivated nak simpan duit. Ha. Yep, konsep ni dipanggil goal based savings. And other research yang found out that this helps people stay on track with their savings. Hey, actually, I nak try juga BU app ni. 
ada lagi tak apa-apa features yang menarik? Yes, kita ada banyak sebenarnya. Alright, selain Nest kita ada uh, Pocket uh, yang uh, menyenangkan, memudahkan segala uh, pengurusan bank, uh, duit termasuklah uh, bank transfer. Uh, and ada juga uh, Gigs, okay, where uh, pengguna boleh mencari side hustle, you know, kerja-kerja freelance ataupun uh, kerja baru uh, dalam app yang sama. Uh, yang ni memang sangat sangat unik. Sebab apa? Sebab belum ada lagi app yang bundle features macam ni tau. Ha, boleh boleh lah ha, pergi tengok apps tu kan ha, mana tahu ada later latest gig ke kan? ha, untuk grow your saving oh and anyone boleh guna BU app ni ha, kalau tak ada um, bank Islam account pun boleh buka juga BU ni alright sign up process pun sangat sangat mudah semuanya digital through the app tak payah pergi bank langsung senang kan hmm banking app pun boleh cari freelance job and make more money Unik juga ya, boleh open a bank account, save for specific goals, track your progress and cari side hustle jobs all in one app. Thank you Fikri for introducing the BU app and for joining us today. Yes, no problem. If you're interested, the BU app by Bank Islam is available on the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Check out all the features that can help grow your savings today. And that's it for this episode of the Ringa Plus Show. We hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.